the, the big picture, again, is surrenders authority. This is what we mean by this, in this big picture, is that the, the county has a pattern because of lack of, in our opinion, because of a lack of diligence by the existing supervisors and previous supervisors, staff is a preponderance to just grow government. That's what they do. But and I, you just said it's a $2.16 million building. What do we need $28 million? Yeah, so in 07, it was pitched as it's going to save taxpayers 4.6 over 20 years. It's going to be a two plus million dollar building, 6,000 square feet facility, 55 dispatchers were on the books for the respective entities merging under this service agreement. 600 to 700 new radios, and it was going to be only 53 cents per thousand dollar valuation in new property taxes. That's, that's, how, that's how it was sold. That's so not so what, what happened. happened. Uh, then the, the, once the 28E was signed, um, which contained the language that it would be uh, paid for by a 29C, which allows for a special levy for emergency, for the emergency center. Well, how do you go from a $2.16 million dollar building to a 10 point? Well, that was a good question. Then that was signed December of 07. Uh, 08, there wasn't much activity showing, assuming they were getting bids, et cetera. In 09, the price tag started to come out. Um, it was always. Um, uh, well, I see the square foot of the facility is much different. Yes. It went Four from times like 6,000 to 27, yeah. which would have been quadruple, and, but the cost of building, you would think the cost of building would even be less than quadruple. Five. Fivefold. Fivefold. They, they were taking the dispatchers from all the centers, uh, from Davenport, Bettendorf, and Scott County, were hired by SECC. Um, What's the purpose of these 1,413 new radios? What's the purpose for them? They're distributed throughout the community to police, fire, we're not certain of the distribution that we're assuming hospitals, schools, things like that. To just join the Wow. But, but I mean, under, I guess, just because. I mean, cell phones aren't adequate in that chorus? Well, because public employees are so overpaid. I mean, who, who is, are, who are, under what authority are these 70 staffers? Are they county people? What benefit, are they in IPERS or? They're going to be uh, new, they're, they're assuming the employees from the existing um, cities, uh, dispatching services. Yeah. Davenport, Bettendorf, Scott County, they've become new employees under this, they have a new director, they have a new building, a new payroll. The county is in charge financially of all the accounting and so this administration. this is a form of consolidation. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. how it was sold. Yeah. Well, yeah. then consolidation is good. It need, yeah. it, in order to cut costs, it probably, it needed what, to be When was the 2018 like established? 2007. Um, was that in Yeah, they, they signed it was uh, oh, signed middle it. of the year 2007, and I believe it was the end of the year. Uh, it was within like four months of it being passed at the state level that the county board uh, moved to, to, you know, act on it. Yeah, to act on it's it. It's classic feature creep, what, is what, what it is. Was it, was Does it, it have the value of that in an earlier proposition bill at the legislature? Does it have any value at all? I, I, that's a tough question because A, it's not up functional. I've only spoken to one EMT not, not person, person who actually showed me on the radio. Is fine. He has lots of issues with, with the uh, last equipment. Well, is there a guarantee on the equipment to perform? Well, that's an interesting question. The original radio station was built in 1975. Uh, later quotes from uh, the SECC director indicated that it's more like a five to seven year equipment. Uh, we hired a director for this. Yes. This is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar job. Oh yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood, yeah. Plus pennies. Yes. Plus retirement. All unfunded. Well, better than I'm getting. I'm gonna guarantee you that. Well it's then, funded uh, now that it's being taxed. The, inter uh, the interesting part is, is that the when you purchase equipment with a service contract, you can bond that service contract when it's bought at the same time as the equipment. But there are three-year and five-year service agreements in there that are going to be expiring, and those will become operating. And when you say bond, when you buy a service agreement, did we we prepaid for the service agreement then? Correct. And then bonded it. That may or may not be a good business decision, but it's a yeah, business decision. Yeah, find a dead horse. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, um, bonding at a, at, a, at a muni level would be cheaper than financing at a corporate level. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, but they're bonded for 19 year, over a 19 year period, but the life Contract's of these- Contract's only three. Yeah. Three and five. And, three and so it's gonna come up again. Now we gotta, now what do you do? And then those become, I'm assuming, operating costs instead of a, and there's in addition two, to the debt. There's, there's uh, we, we have essentially two oppositions. I mean, on the one hand, we're uh, investigating the, you know, the process that they've used to make this happen and the expenditures and stuff, but just on the face of it, the fact that the past uh, county administrator, you know, went on the record saying, sold this idea to the public, lied to the public, and said that this was going to be a tax savings, in those words, to the community. And here we are a few years later. Up on my tax bill. 20% tax oh. increase and six. The, uh, the, the, the previous administrator, when, as the project was sold to him, he may have truthfully believed that. I mean, the original study, even an outside third party came in, did the study, and said that the building should only be 6,000 square feet. So the increase to, for instance, 27,000 square foot is something that's happened at the, uh, as they keep continue to transfer power. Um, the, well, they need, is there any explanation as to why they need a 27,000 square foot building? Mm -hmm. So details huh? of federal fusion centers. They, they turned it into, to withstand a level five tornado. tornado. Going from 6,000 to 27,000 feet doesn't do that. I mean, going from... No, it's construction, it's construction that as well. They'll have dispatch centers inside of a concrete room, or they'll have the consoles in the room. Um, really? I mean, I thought you just went from an eight-foot concrete block wall to reinforced. You're creating a fortress. Yeah, but the, it, his point is, well taken, I mean, you don't increase square footage to attain that. No, you yeah, just a, make yeah. it more stable. Right. I mean, I, I look at cost studies constantly, and that just doesn't make a bit of sense. Yeah, right. Well, and there's irony, too, in the fact that part of the purpose of the, of the uh, uh, joining the... I think we the, see if it will just stand a wider truck. <laughs> maybe. As, as, as they joined the Drive agencies together, though, they, they sold the concept that they would all be in the same room and medic and fire and police would be able to talk to each other, Great you know, face to face. Yeah. So, it, so it's supposed to be intimate. And so now you've got it. As I said, a circle jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other nuance is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Diane, the 28E agreement cites the respective studies that teed all this up as governing documents yes, yes. for requisites on how they should move forward and they've already taken variances on those right yes okay because it, it states let's go on this is getting more frustrating than i thought so the way we look at I was it is happier when i wasn't paying attention the, yeah, <laughs> well, we all were the yeah. horse has left the barn on this is the problem we the people weren't aware of this we had it we could have been down there and these are minutes, meeting notes from the uh, minutes from the meeting. Um, Sunderbrook, the one of the sitting uh, uh, supervisors, moved and Liskey seconded it to open a public hearing for the 7.5 general obligation bond for the equipment, which is only a part of that 28 million. And they opened up the hearing. Nobody was present, and no written petitions were submitted. It just plowed ahead. Okay, so, what happened to the equipment that was resident in that North Police office? Davenport Police Office. It was obsolete. That was, I think and it was obsolete before. Well, well that's, that's what they claim. I mean, there's an interesting... So the, the city's savings here are, we're not spending money that we would have had to spend. The city's just handed, they handed off some of this cost to this county entity. Okay. But we've got sources that have told us, again, remember 1,400 radios, $5,500 a piece. And, and we've had uh, people within the emergency um, communication system tell us that those radios aren't even um, aren't even being used, really? uh, specifically by Davenport Fire, because they will not work. It's a completely different type of radio than what they've used in the past, which they weren't having issues with. Okay, so next? we Can have uh, a, a quote from the uh, Scott County Board of Supervisors budget document, fiscal year 1011. The project in total is 26 million, with an ongoing budget of 8 million dollars. That means annually, SEC will be the second largest component of the county budget. So now, it, okay, we still bonded for twenty-eight million, and I saw twenty-six million. The, or two million dollars flush debt bucks. service, the interest. Okay. So, in our view, as Iowans for accountability, nothing about this—the history and execution of this project 
indicates that the size, cost, and scope is going to do anything but balloon and grow. Again, big picture, you know, avoiding <coughs> scrutiny, surrendering authority, growing government, we need to change that. So let's take a look at some historical data, because this gives you even a bigger picture. This is, we're just, instead of us just picking on an isolated incident of one project that's ballooned, the, the nuances with the cities are that yeah. they were supposedly going to have a, you know, a savings on yeah. that side. So if your taxes went up over here, they wouldn't go up over here. And they didn't. And they did. They said, oh, great. And Bettendorf, you know, I talked to Decker Plain. He said, we decided that we were going to take that windfall and use it to get more debt right now. Because we could, get, we could buy our debt cheaper now than we can in 20 years. So we're going to go ahead and get a bunch of projects done that were on the, on the shelf, and we're just going to jam it in now. 